Hey guys, today we're gonna to be taking a look at a 30 minutes missions model kit here. This is the brown version of the Basquirotto. Really cool design here, as I mentioned in the Gunplay Delivery video fairly recently, uh, that it has a very kind of armored core sort of silhouette to it. And we will see the armored core 30 minutes missions kits actually out quite soon. But in the meantime, let's check out the Basquirotto for today's video. But all right, checking out the box art here real quick before we check out the kit. We've got our standard 30 minutes mission style of a 3D render of the kit right there and then a background image sort of like an action shot with some multiple units there you can see how that looks there in the background but we will have a full color better clearer image of that on the instruction manual at least that's the norm but there you can see a nice close-up look at the main illustration there of the kit the main rendering of the kit with some nice effects there on that it's not a very thick box here for number 62 in the lineup so not expecting anything too bulky but here on the bottom of the box you can see a little bit about the articulation and what the kit is going to look like all built and painted or at least pen aligned i'm not sure exactly if this is entirely all painted it may just be pen aligned and top coated or something but uh looks so like we also have a roy roy unit included which is sort of like a bipedal roy roy unit which is kind of nice kind of unique and some more images there of what the kit is going to look like and a few other different poses the weaponry that you can see it has the shield and that very cool looking rifle and then over here you can see of course how you can customize this further with all sorts of other 30 minutes missions custom option sets around on the top of the box so you can see what this is going to look like front and back and then the size compared with the Alto. So yeah, it is definitely gonna be quite short. The Alto is not a really tall kit. It's actually about standard or even slightly smaller than your standard 1 in 44 scale uh, Gundam kit. So this one is definitely gonna be a little bit of a shorty boy. And that certainly explains the uh, thinness of the box anyway. So let's go ahead and check out all the runners here in a moment after taking a brief look here at the instruction manual where like I said, we have the full color image of that background image from the box art, including some text in Japanese and in English over there about the unit. Some more text about the story and about the Rabiot and I guess the lineage of the Rabiot here. Or more precisely, this is just showing some different variations of the Rabiot, I guess, that you can make in combination with some different option armor sets. So that's pretty cool. It gives you some nice ideas, some nice inspiration there. Over here, some other images of some different uh, custom combinations and everything that you can do with different versions of the Rabiot. And around on the back side, some more information about how you can customize this with some of the different uh, option sets. So. It's very much seeming very much like a uh, armored core style, how you kind of have like your drop down menu of weapon options for the different parts of the kit. And then down here, again, a look at how you can customize this. On the inside of the manual, we have the very simplified version of the instructions. So if you don't wanna to have to go through all of that, you can just refer to this single page only, which just gives you the entirety of the construction of the kit here in one single overview, which is definitely the easier way to go about the construction. But if you wanna take it slow and easy, you can refer to the parts list right here and just kind of go through the construction as normal. So I'll also let you know about like where the shield can be stored in there, for example, the construction of the Roy Roy, and then some of the leftover parts that you have included that you can uh, do with what you will. Getting into the runners, then we do have some polycaps here, PC7 for some gray polycap ball joints. And runner A1 is gonna be in our two main colors for the kit, a tan color and a brown color there. You can see some nice detail on these parts there as well. Runner A2 is interesting. We have two of these, but as you can see, the clear part is different. So you'll have the option of, I guess, clear yellow or clear red. The rest of these parts are just doubled, more brown and tan colored parts there. And the remainder of our runners are all here in brown. So runner B is going to be our our kind of standard joint and connection parts runner there for the internal frame structure and joints. Runner C1 and C2 is gonna be some more specific parts for this particular weapon set and shield parts there, as you can see. There's runner C2 with a copy of some of those parts. And then lastly, runner JA5 here is gonna be just some simple joint and connection parts that you can use with the kit in brown as well. And that's it, let's go ahead and check out the kit. All right, guys, and here it is all built up. Definitely a small little guy there, not a big model kit by any means. Reminds me a lot of the front mission kits, actually. I know I mentioned the, sort of its resemblance to something out of Armored Core, but actually it's kind of more out of front mission, especially having built some of the front mission model kits, and I actually have more of those I need to build and share with you guys soon. But the overall size, shape, and details really remind me a lot of those front mission model kits from Square Enix. This one's definitely a lot more affordable, though, and definitely a lot more customizable, which is very cool. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of our included accessories. And then 
then we'll talk about the kit in some more detail. So first up, we've got the Roy Roy here, which is kind of cool in its design, but it's not really all that particularly interesting. The legs can move just on like a single joint there, so it's gonna look a little bit goofy. And then the top part can also rotate side to side. It's very tight, it's quite stiff actually. And you can see that clear yellow part is used for the Roy Roy. The clear red part is in there for the eye on the main head of the mecha. But it's the exact same part, so you could absolutely swap those if you wanted to have the yellow part in here or vice versa. And on that note, like other Roy Roy's that we've seen in the line, the head is actually swappable. You can just pop off the head of one, swap it to the other if you wanted to have this head on there. It's gonna look something like that. Kind of goofy, but it's certainly an option. And then for the hands, we have these kind of cool symmetrical open hands there like that. And then we do also have a set of holding hands here for the left and the right side as well. Now to hold in your hands, you have this cool assault rifle here, which is just made up of a few parts, all in brown. You don't really have much of a seam line on that as it's all just detail panel lines around and these parts not quite totally pressed together. But yeah, really nice detail here on this. The front barrel part is connected via that rectangular peg, which is used for a lot of 30 minutes missions uh, option, like different gun barrels. So if you wanted to put like a, a machine gun, sort of like a rotating Gatling gun, gun barrel on the end of that, or more like a laser cannon gun barrel on the end of that, there's a lot of different option parts that you could use. Uh, in place of that. When not in use, there's not really anywhere to store this around anywhere on the kit. And as you can see, there's not any hard points on it to be able to plug this into like a hard point or something like that. So basically it's gonna be in use in the hand or not at all. That said, a little bit different story here for the shield. As you can see on the front, we have a number of different hard points and the same thing here on the back, including this peg here, which is going to plug into the side of the arm. That's on a rotation point there up and down. But nice that we have the two different colors here and this shield is nice and large too, connected onto the side of the arm. It's a good size. It's not like overly large, but I think a good size there for a nice looking shield. And then lastly, we've got eight of these connection peg extra parts that you can use if you wanted to utilize these to add more weapons or equipment or anything onto here on any of the number of hard points that you can have all over the place. And on that note then, just to talk a little bit more about the kit, we have a lot of nice articulation, even though it's packed into this small package. You have double joints with separation of that knee armor in the knee, single joint in the elbow, giving you a pretty full bend there single ball joint for the wrist, a single ball joint sort of down here at the ankle as well. It's actually a ball joint and a hinge, but you're really not gonna get much out of the ball joint except maybe just a little bit of uh, bend there side to side, maybe slightly forward and back, but most of that's just coming from that hinge. Up underneath the feet, half detail and then half kind of hard point there as well. Around to the back, these parts are kind of interesting. These are meant to just fold down like that and you can either add more parts into there or add something onto there. Like for example, if you wanted to add like a cannon part that you wanted it to be able to move up and down, something like that, you can attach into there. And then these panels here on the side of the shoulders also will move up and down slightly there like that as well. So some nice moving parts here on what is essentially, you know, as usual, a pretty simple construction here in terms of just the overall build. And that's kind of one thing that Bandai has always done with this line is that the builds themselves are very simple, but they kind of pack a lot of options and a lot of nice engineering to really maximize uh, what you can do with the small number of parts here. So let's go ahead and as a wrap up the review here by taking a look at a few poses with the kit and with that adorable little Roy Roy in there as well. And again, I'll just mention that one of the best things about this line is just going to be the ability to easily customize them. And this is definitely one, again, being in that it's definitely, you can tell like it's got definitely got some design inspiration from either Armored Core or like I said, Front Mission. And those are always kind of, you know, heavily customizable as just kind of a part of the design. I definitely get the sense uh, with this one here as well. So, you know, definitely pick up a couple of 30 minutes missions option parts sets along with this guy and you can really make something cool with them. It is available in a couple of different colors. Uh, if you didn't want to have to paint, obviously if you're going to paint, you can you know make it whatever color that you want. Uh, I like the brown version just as a sort of, it's always kind of like a desert sort of uh, color scheme here for this. And I think it does look pretty good if you did want to just get this and just build it straight out of the box and not end up painting it. I will say that getting a brown and black panel line marker to just fill in some of the details, brown on the tan color plastic parts, black on the brown color plastic parts, uh, would definitely help to bring out those details and make it look even that much better. Maybe spray a little top coat on it there as well. And it'd be a really good looking model, even just straight out of the box, just with a little bit of work done on it. Just uh, again, as a reminder, as always, if when you're spraying your top coat, just to make sure that you either remove the clear part or cover it up just so that you're not spraying uh, matte top coats on top of your clear 
parts. If it's gloss top coat, it doesn't really matter so much, but you don't want to fog up those clear parts with matte top coat. Anyway, guys, if you want to check out this kit or more 30 minutes missions model kits and option parts and accessories and everything else, you can check the link in the video description down below to USA Gundam store. We got plenty of stuff there for you guys to check out. And as always, thank you so much for all of your support, whether it be leaving a like, making sure that you're subscribed, leaving a comment or all of the above. I greatly appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. Until next time, hope you all have a great day. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.